part one, question one to seven. There are seven questions in this part. For each question, there are three pictures and a short recording. Choose the picture and put a tick in the box below it. For example, where did the man leave his camera? Ông này ông để cái camera ở đâu? Thì recording nó sẽ đọc và đáp án người ta chọn là câu A. Vậy một hồi nữa mình sẽ nghe cái đoạn recording mẫu của cái đoạn này. Giờ nhìn sơ qua mấy câu hỏi trong cái bài này. Which activity will the family do this year? Năm nay, this year ha. Thì vậy mình có mấy cái hoạt động, có hình A là hoạt động gì vậy ta? Đó là... Nó là hoạt động gì? Ai biết? Nhưng mà trên cái thuyền thì gọi là có thể là go sailing, đúng không? Là lướt sóng là... Sailing, ừ, ok, đúng rồi. Rồi. Right. Uh, surfing. Ok. Rồi. Cái hình B là cái gì? Hoạt động đạp xe. Đạp xe là cái gì? Đạp xe là cái gì? Ride a bike. Hoặc là cycling. Đúng không? Cycle. Nhưng mà cycling. Rồi. Ok. Cycling. Rồi. Còn C nó là walking, đôi giày là walking, đi bộ, rồi, ok. Hình thứ hai, which is the woman's house, cái nhà là nhà của một phụ nữ. Thì như vậy là, uh, có một cái cây, cái hình A và hình C là nó có cây đúng không? A big tree, cái cây. Cái cổng là gì ta? Cái cổng trước của nhà là gì? Front gate, right, front gate, đúng rồi. Rồi, hình thứ ba. Why will drivers have problems this morning? Tại sao tài xế sáng nay là gặp problems? Thì mình có hình A là sao? Nó, nó, nó vẽ vậy nghĩa là sao? Là sương mù đúng không? Trời, hơi sương mù nó khó nhìn, phải bật đèn, nó tối. Như vậy là sương mù là gì? Sương mù là fog. Fog. Right. Cái uh, hình uh, C nó là gì ta? Người ta đang làm một cái gọi là sửa chữa đúng không? Xây dựng sửa chữa gì đó, cái cầu gì đó. Sửa chữa là cái gì? Sửa chữa là cái gì? Repair. Đúng rồi, repair. Đúng rồi. rồi. À, cái tuyến đường, cái tuyến đường mình đi, mình hay nói con đường là road hay là street hay là way, ấy, nhưng mà một cái, cái tuyến đường, cái lộ trình đó, là tiếng Anh có cái chữ gì đó? Root, đúng rồi. Root, nice. Rồi. Right. What time will Robin leave the house? Thì cái này nghe giờ ha. 6 hay là 6.30 hay là 7.15 hay là quarter, a quarter past 7. Rồi. Right. What did Simon do this morning? Cái này là gì? Go to the supermarket, đúng không? Rồi. Right, uh, Clean the window. Rồi này là gì? Answer the phone. Answer the telephone. Rồi. What hasn't the girl packed yet? Cô gái chưa có đóng đóng uh, vali đóng vào vali cái gì đây? Cái này là gì? Cái khăn. Khăn là gì? Towel. Right. Bàn chải. Bàn chải đến răng. Toothbrush. Này để hỏi một bạn trong đây coi. 
cái uh, cây kem đánh răng là gì vậy uh, thủy tiên thủy tiên are you there rồi mở máy lên không nhớ rồi như bạn giúp bạn mình đây công hơn toothpaste 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 ok thank you nói luôn cho nó nhanh còn gõ xong rồi mở mic lên nói thanh <cười> niên what has the woman just sport người phụ nữ vừa mua cái gì đây cái này là hat đúng không cái này là handbag đúng không còn này là gì nó khoác đó là gì nó khoác là gì từ này đơn giản vô cùng luôn á jacket nice jacket ok so now listen and choose the correct picture Also, we listen to the example. Cambridge Preliminary English Test 4 by University of Cambridge ESOL examinations in conjunction with Cambridge University Press. This recording is copyright. CD1. This is the Cambridge Preliminary English Test, number one. There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. For each part of the test, there will be time for you to look through the questions and time for you to check your answers. Write your answers on the question paper. You will have six minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the answer sheet. The recording will now be stopped. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. There are seven questions in this part. For each question, there are three pictures and a short recording. Choose the correct picture and put a tick in the box below it. Before we start, here is an example. Where did the man leave his camera? Oh no, I haven't got my camera. But you used it just now to take a photograph of the fountain. Oh, I remember. I put it down on the steps while I put my coat on. Well, let's drive back quickly. It might still be there. The first picture is correct. So there is a tick in box A. Look at the three pictures for question one now. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One, which activity will the family do this year? We're going to try an activity holiday this year, but we all want to do something different. The children want to go cycling, but their father wants to go on a water sports holiday, you know, sailing and windsurfing, things like that. And I'd like to go walking. We all want to go together, so we've decided to let the children choose this year, and we'll choose next year. Now listen again. We're going to try an activity holiday this year. But we all want to do something different. The children want to go cycling, but their father wants to go on a water sports holiday, you know, sailing and windsurfing, things like that. And I'd like to go walking. 
we all want to go together. So we've decided to let the children choose this year and we'll choose next year. Two, which is the woman's house? How will I recognize your house when I call for you, Sue? Well, it's the same as all the others in the street, but look out for a big tree. It's by the front gate and it's covered in lovely white flowers at the moment. Now listen again. How will I recognize your house when I call for you, Sue? Well, it's the same as all the others in the street, but look out for a big tree. It's by the front gate and it's covered in lovely white flowers at the moment. Three, why will drivers have problems this morning? And on to this morning's local traffic news. Driving conditions have improved now that the early morning fog is gone. Rain is forecast for tonight, but it'll be fine during the day. The police have warned drivers to expect delays coming into town because of repairs to Victoria Bridge and advised lorries to find another route if possible. Now listen again. And on to this morning's local traffic news. Driving conditions have improved now that the early morning fog is gone. Rain is forecast for tonight, but it'll be fine during the day. The police have warned drivers to expect delays coming into town because of repairs to Victoria Bridge and advised lorries to find another route if possible. Four. What time will Robin leave the house? Oh, Robin, Pete's just rung to say that he'll be here a bit later than he said. The plane's going to take off at eight o'clock now, so you don't need to check in until about quarter past seven. He said he'd be round to pick you up at half past six instead of six o'clock. Is that okay? It'll give you some more time to pack anyway. Now listen again. Oh, Robin, Pete's just rung to say that he'll be here a bit later than he said. The plane's going to take off at eight o'clock now, so you don't need to check in until about quarter past seven. He said he'd be round to pick you up at half past six instead of six o'clock. Is that okay? It'll give you some more time to pack anyway. Five. What did Simon do this morning? Oh, Simon, you haven't even washed the dishes. Have you done anything this morning? I've been really busy, Mum. I paid the window cleaner who called, and I was going to put away all the shopping you bought yesterday. But Pete rang, and he kept me talking for ages. Now listen again. Oh, Simon. You haven't even washed the dishes. Have you done anything this morning? I've been really busy, Mum. I paid the window cleaner who called, and I was going to put away all the shopping you bought yesterday. But Pete rang, and he kept me talking for ages. Six. What hasn't the girl packed yet? Have you got everything you need for your holiday? Well, I packed my soap and toothbrush, if that's what you mean, but I can't find any toothpaste anywhere. There's probably some in the bathroom cupboard, but what about a towel? Have you remembered to pack that? Of course. Now listen again. Have you got everything you need for your holiday? Well, I packed my soap and toothbrush, if that's what you mean, but I can't find any toothpaste anywhere. There's probably some in the bathroom cupboard, but what about a towel? Have you remembered to pack that? Of course. Seven. What has the woman just bought? What do you think? I found it in that new department store yesterday. I think it's perfect. It'll keep the sun off my face and it'll go really well with the dress I'm wearing to the wedding. 
It's the same colour as my bag too. I just need a new jacket now. Now listen again. What do you think? I found it in that new department store yesterday. I think it's perfect. It'll keep the sun off my face and it'll go really well with the dress I'm wearing to the wedding. It's the same colour as my bag too. I just need a new jacket now. That is the end of part one. So at part two, you will hear an interview with Angela Morgan, who has recently flown around the world in the helicopter. Bye, one thing you bằng trực thăng. For each question, put a tick in the box. The main reason for Angela's trip was to make money for her business, make money for other people, have an exciting adventure. Kiếm tiền để kinh doanh, kiếm tiền cho người khác. Đi uh, có một chuyến hám hiểm. Exciting. What does Angela say about her life now? She feels much older. Thấy mình già hơn. She likes to be active and busy. She's lonely without her children. When Angela had flying lessons, her course lasted five months. Khoa học cô ấy kéo dài năm tháng. Her husband took lessons as well. Chồng cô ấy cũng có những bài học. She got to know her teacher well. Là cô ấy uh, trở nên thân thiết với giáo viên, hiểu về giáo viên của mình nhiều hơn. Thân thiết với giáo viên của mình hơn. Huh? During the trip, Angela and her teacher, trong cái chuyến đi này, Angela và giáo viên sau đây, did very little sightseeing là ít có chịu ngắm cảnh carried on the water they needed mang theo tất cả cái nước mà họ cần những nước uống ấy nha had engine problems several times gặp vấn đề động cơ several times what did Angela enjoy most about the trip flying at night walking in the desert us watching the changes in the scenery Hay những sự thay đổi về cảnh vật. What did Angela miss most while she was away? Cô ấy nhớ cái gì? Cái chữ miss nghĩa là nhớ. Nhớ cái gì? Nhớ nhung cái gì? Khi đi xa. Modern bathrooms. Phòng tắm hiện đại. Regular exercise. Bài tập. Thể dục thường xuyên. Interesting entertainment. Giải trí thú vị. Ok, now listen and check. Now turn to part two, questions eight to 13. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. And today I'm talking to Angela Morgan. Angela, what made you decide to fly around the world in a helicopter? People often ask me why I decided to do it, but I'm surprised they don't ask, why did you wait so long? Because I'm 57 now. I'm sorry I didn't do it years ago, because it was such a wonderful experience. But the main purpose for going was to collect £500,000 for sick children by getting different companies to pay us money for each kilometre that we flew. And now everyone calls you the flying grandmother. <laughs> yes. The thing about growing older is that you don't feel any different inside. So you have to do as much as you can while you can. I'm healthy and my own children are grown up. 
So I was free to go. And what about preparing for the trip? Well, it took five months to plan. I was going to go with my husband, but he couldn't take time off work. Instead, I made the trip with my flying teacher, who became a great friend while she was teaching me to fly three years ago. I passed my flying test after two weeks, found it quite easy. And what was the trip like? It was really exciting flying over so many different countries. The only thing was that we weren't able to spend much time sightseeing because we only stopped to get water and to camp. We took very little with us, but we did have tents and cooking things to use at night. We had to spend two days in Thailand because of an engine problem, but that was the longest we spent anywhere. Fortunately, nothing else went wrong, so we just kept on going after that. What did you enjoy most about the trip? The most wonderful thing about flying was seeing the differences in the countryside as we flew across 26 countries in 97 days. We flew over oceans and close to mountains. Sometimes it was quite frightening, but we didn't travel when it was dark. We spent several nights camping in the desert and the sky was just full of stars. I made a video of the trip. You'll see it in a minute. Was there anything that you missed while you were away? Well, to my surprise, I didn't miss going to work or going out to restaurants or films. The most difficult thing was sitting still all the time. I normally play tennis and swim several times a week, so I started to feel very unfit. I missed hot water and proper showers sometimes too, but not as much as I thought I would. Now listen again. And today I'm talking to Angela Morgan. Angela, what made you decide to fly around the world in a helicopter? People often ask me why I decided to do it, but I'm surprised they don't ask, why did you wait so long? Because I'm 57 now. I'm sorry I didn't do it years ago, because it was such a wonderful experience. But the main purpose for going was to collect £500,000 for sick children by getting different companies to pay us money for each kilometre that we flew. And now everyone calls you the flying grandmother. <laughs> yes. The thing about growing older is that you don't feel any different inside. So you have to do as much as you can while you can. I'm healthy and my own children are grown up. So I was free to go. And what about preparing for the trip? Well, it took five months to plan. I was going to go with my husband, but he couldn't take time off work. Instead, I made the trip with my flying teacher, who became a great friend while she was teaching me to fly three years ago. I passed my flying test after two weeks, found it quite easy. And what was the trip like? It was really exciting flying over so many different countries. The only thing was that we weren't able to spend much time sightseeing because we only stopped to get water and to camp. We took very little with us, but we did have tents and cooking things to use at night. We had to spend two days in Thailand because of an engine problem, but that was the longest we spent anywhere. Fortunately, nothing else went wrong, so we just kept on going after that. What did you enjoy most about the trip? The most wonderful thing about flying was seeing the differences in the countryside as we flew across 26 countries in 97 days. We flew over oceans and close to mountains. Sometimes it was quite frightening, but we didn't travel when it was dark. We spent several nights camping in the desert, and the sky was just full of stars. I made a video of the trip. You'll see it in a minute. Was there anything that you missed while you were away? Well, to my surprise, I didn't miss going to work or going out to restaurants or films. The most difficult thing was sitting still all the time. 
I normally play tennis and swim several times a week, so I started to feel very unfit. I missed hot water and proper showers sometimes too, but not as much as I thought I would. That is the end of part. That is the end of part two. Now turn to part three, question 14 to 19. You will hear a radio announcer talking about activities at a museum called Science World. For each question in the, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. Science World, next week's special events. Time of day, Wednesday morning, Saturday evening, yeah. Cái chỗ chấm chấm này có thể là theo như cái event này nó sẽ là một cái ngày, một cái buổi, một cái giờ. Nghe kỹ ha. Electricity workshop, experiments with water. Talk about space travel by well-known scientists from. From, đến từ đâu? Để ý nghe chỗ này, nghe chỗ này. Nói về space travel, có liên quan đến space travel. Bởi cái ông nào? Hay là cái người đến từ đâu? Entrance fees, như này, nhưng mà tickets for special events, it costs extra, tốn thêm là bao nhiêu. Như vậy em sẽ nghe được cái số tiền, cái tiền, cái số tiền nghe như vậy. Adults, người lớn, reduce prices for children, get tickets direct from Science World on or from the, sau đờ này thường là một danh từ ha, tính từ nhưng mà thường là danh từ. Newton Cafe is next to the... Rồi, cái này cũng cần là danh từ luôn. Next snacks available all day. Phone Science World for free ticket to exhibition about... Exhibition about... Nhìn bạn nghe chỗ này mình khả năng rất cao cũng là một danh từ nữa. Để nghe thử có điện kiểu gì. Are you ready? Let's listen. Now turn to part three, questions 14 to 19. You will hear a radio announcer talking about activities at a museum called Science World. For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. You now have 20 seconds to look at part three. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. This week in the local activities part of the show, we're taking a look at Science World, the new place to visit for a family day out. During your visit, you'll be able to find out about all the latest developments in science, as well as trying lots of experiments for yourself. This is no ordinary museum, I promise you. There's a program of special events, which next week includes an electricity workshop on Monday afternoon and the chance to do some experiments with water on Wednesday morning. Of special interest is the regular Saturday evening talk. Next week, Science World welcomes a famous American scientist who is going to talk about space travel. It isn't expensive to visit Science World with tickets priced at three pounds for adults and two pounds for children. Talks and other special events are extra, though, with an entrance fee of £1.75 for adults, and there are reductions for children. If you want to go to a special event or talk, then book your tickets direct from Science World on 284311, or pick them up from the tourist office. While you're at Science World, you'll be able to enjoy a snack in the Newton Cafe. It's a bit small, but the food is good. 
It's open all day and it has a lovely view because it's beside the beach. Still not sure? Well, why not give Science World a call on 284-311. If you say you heard about Science World on this program, they will send you one free ticket to next month's exhibition, which is about computers. It's suitable for families and school parties. And now, let's look at... Now listen again. This week in the local activities part of the show, we're taking a look at Science World, the new place to visit for a family day out. During your visit, you'll be able to find out about all the latest developments in science, as well as trying lots of experiments for yourself. This is no ordinary museum, I promise you. There's a program of special events, which next week includes an electricity workshop on Monday afternoon and the chance to do some experiments with water on Wednesday morning. Of special interest is the regular Saturday evening talk. Next week, Science World welcomes a famous American scientist who is going to talk about space travel. It isn't expensive to visit Science World, with tickets priced at £3 for adults and £2 for children. Talks and other special events are extra, though, with an entrance fee of £1.75 for adults, and there are reductions for children. If you want to go to a special event or talk, then book your tickets direct from Science World on 284311 or pick them up from the tourist office. While you're at Science World, you'll be able to enjoy a snack in the Newton Cafe. It's a bit small, but the food is good. It's open all day, and it has a lovely view because it's beside the beach. Still not sure? Well, why not give Science World a call on 284311. If you say you heard about Science World on this program, they will send you one free ticket to next month's exhibition, which is about computers. It's suitable for families and school parties. And now, let's look at... That is the end of part... That's the end of part three. Now turn to part four. Part four, question 20 to 25. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a boy and his sister about school. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. Claire thinks his father will be pleased by Tom's news. Tom believes he can manage both swimming and schoolwork. Anh thì nghĩ có thể là đảm đương hết cái chuyện bơi và cái chuyện đi học luôn. Tom's teacher thinks Tom is clever. Clever means wise, smart, intelligent. Okay. Tom dislikes doing maths. Yeah, học toán. Claire thinks it is a bad idea to take a friend's advice. Dùng lời khuyên của bạn mình là một cái bad idea, ý tưởng tệ. Tom finally realizes he will need his father's agreement to his plans. Cuối cùng cũng nhận ra là cần cái sự đồng ý của bố với các cái plans của mình. Ok, now let's listen. Now turn to part 4. Questions 20 to 25. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a boy, Tom, and his sister, Claire, about school. 
Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions for part four. Guess what, Claire? I've been chosen for the school swimming team. What do you think about that? Oh, well, I think it's great, but I'm sure Dad won't say the same when he finds out. You know how he feels about you doing all this sport and not doing your schoolwork? You'll never get all your homework done, especially if you have to travel to other schools for competitions. It won't make any difference. I can do my homework on the bus. Honestly, Tom, you know what your teacher said to Dad last term? You've got a good brain and you could improve your marks at school if you spent a bit less time thinking about sport. Sometimes I wonder if you ever think about anything else at all. Well, I work hard at everything I like doing, not just sport. I mean, take maths, for example. OK, it's your life. But you know you have your examinations next year for college. And at most of the good colleges, they have great sports facilities. If you aren't accepted, then you'll have to find a job, and that won't be easy. Oh, I've thought about that already. I'm thinking of applying to do sports science at college, and someone told me some of the colleges often take students with lower marks if they're good at sport. Well, I wouldn't depend on what one of your friends says if I were you. For your information, it wasn't one of my friends. It was a teacher at school. I'm only trying to help. And anyway, it doesn't really matter what I say. It's Dad you have to worry about. Yes, OK. I know you're right about that. I'll have a chat with him tonight and explain things again. Good luck. Now listen again. Guess what, Claire? I've been chosen for the school swimming team. What do you think about that? Oh, well, I think it's great, but I'm sure Dad won't say the same when he finds out. You know how he feels about you doing all this sport and not doing your schoolwork? You'll never get all your homework done, especially if you have to travel to other schools for competitions. It won't make any difference. I can do my homework on the bus. Honestly, Tom, you know what your teacher said to Dad last term? You've got a good brain and you could improve your marks at school if you spent a bit less time thinking about sport. Sometimes I wonder if you ever think about anything else at all. Well, I work hard at everything I like doing, not just sport. I mean, take maths, for example. OK, it's your life. But you know you have your examinations next year for college. And at most of the good colleges, they have great sports facilities. If you aren't accepted, then you'll have to find a job, and that won't be easy. Oh, I've thought about that already. I'm thinking of applying to do sports science at college. And someone told me some of the colleges often take students with lower marks if they're good at sport. Well, I wouldn't depend on what one of your friends says if I were you. For your information, it wasn't one of my friends. It was a teacher at school. I'm only trying to help. And anyway, it doesn't really matter what I say. It's Dad you have to worry about. Yes, OK. I know you're right about that. I'll have a chat with him tonight and explain things again. Good luck. That is the end of part four. That is the end of part four. And also it is the end of the test. To check and copy your answers onto the answer sheet. That is the end of the test.
Okay, this is the uh, answers. You can compare your answers and tell me how many correct answers you got. 